here to discuss uh, diagnosis of the OA joint. Um, that is the joint uh, between your occiput and um, your first vertebrae. So in order to diagnose, uh, you're going to want to uh, do some myofascial release of your patient's um, cervical muscles or uh, even a suboccipital release to release the tissue tension so that you can feel uh, the sulci. And it's also beneficial if you're going to do uh, diagnosis of the lower cervical um, and mid cervical uh, vertebrae as well. Um, to start, you will lift the patient's head and you uh, put it in your palms. You will slide your fingers down to the edge of the occiput and they'll fall into a um, shelf there that is uh, the sulci that we're looking for. The sulcus is what's going to allow you to determine the side of rotation. Um, the depth of the sulcus indicates which side is rotated. So a deeper sulcus on the right would indicate that the uh, patient has a OA that is rotated right. Uh, you can tell this because um, the OA uh, is the joint with the occiput in C1. So the rotation of the head is, um, or the occiput, is going to create a shelf. And your fingers are down here below the shelf, so that's the depth that would be deeper where over, versus over here, there is no shelf. So you have a shelf here and no shelf over here. So the depth is deeper on the right side. Um, that means that the occiput is rotated right. So once you've found that the occiput is rotated right, you would uh, test the uh, depth of the sulcus while putting the patient into extension, seeing if it resolves, and putting the patient into flexion and see if it resolves. Um, flexion here is different from flexion of the rest of the cervical because you're just flexing the OA. So you want to make sure that the distance from his chin to his trachea uh, shortens. So this is correct and this is incorrect because there is no shortening between the distance there. Um, so if the patient was rotated right, meaning the sulcus was deepest on the right, and he resolved in flexion, you would say that he's uh, OA is flexed and rotated right. Um, with the OA, uh, OA opposite always. Their uh, rotation and side bending is always opposite. So in this case, because he's rotated right, he is side bent left. So the diagnosis would be uh, OA flexed, rotated, um, right and side bent left.